Yo, what is going on, boys? It is your favorite YouTuber of all time, your boy Zard Gaming, and today we're gonna be talking about some things that are popping in the news. Once again, there's not really a big over. Well, there is a big topic that I could talk about today, but I'm, I decided that it's better if I cover a bunch of the smaller topics going on because there's a lot of smaller topics going on. And I think maybe in the next commentary we'll cover the bigger one, and I'll talk more about that at the end of the video if you're interested and ask you guys about it. But before we get into the video, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Since your boys try to make it, it helps out a lot. But let's get into the fucking video now. First things first, right here, as you can see, popular MMOs has made his return to YouTube. Yep, another Minecraft YouTuber is coming back, which apparently he had all of his charges dropped. Because if you didn't know, after he got arrested, he quit YouTube and he stopped making videos. As you can see, I'll open his channel right now. The last video before that, before this one, obviously, was a year ago, over a year ago, actually, which is pretty crazy. And it's pretty crazy that a lot of old school Minecraft YouTubers are coming back, announcing new projects. I mean, just the other day, we were talking about how Sky Does Minecraft was making his crazy comeback. But his was a lot more schizophrenic than Pat's. Like, Pat's is a, or popular MMOs, his comeback is a lot more sane. And obviously, a lot more people are here for it. Uh, as you can see, this video already has uh, a million and a half views after just six days. And a lot of the comment section, a lot of people are happy to see him. A lot of people missed him. I thought he was in prison. I didn't have no clue that the charges have been dropped. So it looks like he's been, in reality, just taking a break. Because I thought he wasn't uploading because he was in prison. But I guess that's not what happened. Because his new project that he's announcing... Oh, I'm not subscribed. I might as well subscribe. Um... The project that he's announcing is a podcast, actually, with whoever the fuck this dude is, which I have no clue who he is. From the background, looks like it's Pat's old apartment that this guy's in. So, and it's kind of weird, you know. I don't know what is with this trend of a bunch of old Minecraft YouTubers that fell off randomly coming back. And basically, on this podcast, what he went over was that his girlfriend was crazy that he got arrested for apparently domestically abusing, which... It's not true. It's all alleged, and the charges were dropped. So basically, it was confirmed that he didn't actually do this, and this was all cap coming from her. And what I think is going on is I don't think he really cares about coming back. I think he was done with YouTube because nobody just takes a year-long break from YouTube for no fucking reason. I think he was tired of YouTube. I think the only reason he's coming back is because he's low on cash, and he wants some more moolah. And clearly, it's working because this video already has a million, 1.4 million views. So, clearly, he's making some good money. I bet he's definitely, since he's a family-friendly channel, these videos probably get shit crazy AdSense. And especially since it's an hour-long video, he probably made a shit ton of money. I don't make money on YouTube yet, so I couldn't tell you how much money he exactly made on this. But I'm assuming that it's a lot. But yeah, that's basically it with the whole popular MMOs thing. I, If you guys want to go watch his full podcast that he came out with, you can go watch it right here on his YouTube channel. Go check it out. I, from the comment section, it was a good podcast. I have no clue what the fuck this guy is, but from the comment section, it was a good podcast. You know popular MMOs. Just type in popular MMOs in your search bar. His This video will probably pop up. But yeah, let's get into more news. We are going to be talking about Logan Paul again. Apparently, Logan Paul got pressed in an interview recently about the crypto zoo shit. And he just completely dodged the question, which I mean, big props to whoever this is interviewing Logan Paul, because this is the first time he's gone on an interview in recent times talking about his Dylan Danis fight and didn't just pay off the interviewer to fucking not speak about crypto zoo. And I bet this dude got major shit from Logan Paul's team for asking this question. But let's watch the clip. You have said yeah, yeah. that you are rectifying this. You're working on it and rectifying it. Um, as you probably could guess, like the main thing that I got today is ask him about the crypto zoo and i was planning on it and so what could you tell us about how you're trying to rectify this ariel you know i love you but because of the legal position of this and uh if people cared they could look into it um i unfortunately can't say anything on the situation and I, I i've tried i've wanted to we're very close in my opinion i think we're very close to a final resolution what the fuck does in my opinion we're really close to a resolution you're either you're either close to paying them off or you're not and that's what I mean when I say I'm rectifying it. But unfortunately, I can't give you any details right now. Okay, but it's something that's going on. You just can't talk about it. It's not like it's a dead issue in your world. Not a dead issue. No, by any means. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, and so as far as uh, you have said... Yeah, yeah. He, he's not going to pay the motherfuckers back. Dude, it doesn't take that much legal shit and legal work 
to just pay people back a million dollars. He's sitting out here making like $2 million bets with Conor McGregor and shit, but he can't pay back the 1.6 mil he owes to the crypto zoo victims. Fucking crazy to me. He's just completely dodging this shit. Complete major fucking L. Common Logan Paul L, actually. Very common Logan Paul L. In further news, Mr. Beast came out with a tweet recently saying that he is losing a lot of money recently because he messed. He tweets out here, I messed up. I bought a random grocery store and told a random person I give him 10000 every day he lives in it, and it's been weeks, and he shows no signs of ever leaving. I'm going to go broke. Is it that hard to live in a grocery store? Shit. I mean, fucking pay me that much money to live in a grocery store. I would chill in there for a long ass time too. Are you kidding me? A fucking dude. This this guy's going to be a millionaire from just sitting in here. It does not take that much work. I mean, he should have at least like done things where like, you know what? We're going to take some food from the grocery store every day. But no, he's just losing. Fucking, he's just losing so much. That was just a bad challenge. I mean, that's too easy. I'm fuck they a grocery store if it's like a supermarket like a Walmart dude I could sit in there forever they got TVs with video games and shit dude I'd hook up on those b bitches bro oh my god I would never leave is that is not a hard challenge but yeah that's all for Mr Beast you know this guy's never really in any drama also recently Rice Gum came out well he well not came out but Rice Gum was on stream recently and he saw that Neon and you know the whole like degenerate group of Aiden Ross Neon Sneeko all the Bradley Martin, Sarah, all those people that have been st live streaming lately, IRL. Rice Gum was reacting to it, and he says that he thinks that they're botting their viewers because Neon Stream had a hundred thousand viewers at one point. No way, this crew got a hundred k, bro. Sub's not adding up, chat. <laughs> bro, no way, this crew, this crew, like, like, you, like, you know what I mean? Like last time. Think Why the fuck is his stream quality so bad? Holy shit, Rice, what the fuck are you recording on? fucking potato what is this man's rig I think they had like bradley sarah steve will do it like bro would you tell me this crew bro do those hackers be swatting you guys tell me that they can't fabricate some views come on now chat i think rice gums jealous bro he knows damn well that his whole thing was calling people irrelevant and now he's pretty fucking irrelevant I don't think they're viewbotting. I think that's feasible, especially if you've seen how much they've been popping off. They're literally all that's in the news. I mean, Rice Gum probably doesn't know as well as me, considering I'm constantly on Twitter fucking looking for shit to talk about. And these motherfuckers are all as I see. These guys are what's popping right now. They're the new generation, like Team 10, Logan Paul, Jake Paul. So I think it's completely feasible that they're pulling this amount of viewers. I think Rice Gum is just fucking coping big time. Finally, the last thing we're going to talk about today is Little Tay. If you don't know, she was fucking blew the fuck up way back in like 2016 when she was like nine for just flexing money and shit as a little kid it was like stupid and apparently there's this death hoax that came out about her well not apparently it did happen uh death hoax came out about her saying that her and her brother died and it was just completely fake and now Lil Tay is apparently announcing her return she's going on an epic IG live in one day and well basically two days and I fucking called it man I called it. She did all this fucking shit just to hype up something she's doing. I knew that she was faking her death. And then she came out saying, oh, I was hacked. I didn't actually fucking die or nothing. No, this bitch was hyping up herself. She wanted her name in the fucking loop. Fucking stupid, bro. She thinks that people are that fucking stupid. No, that's crazy to me. I fucking called it too. Go back and watch my first video talking about Lil Tay. And I told, I said it. I said, I think it's the video titled AI is getting out of hand. I talked about this. And I said, I think that she's just doing this to hype up herself so that she can get her name back out there. I fucking called it. I fucking knew it. But yeah, that's basically all we got to talk about today, guys. Yeah, like I said, there's just a bunch of little things that needed to be talked about. Nothing like super crazy that I have like any super massive opinions on. And the fucking sort of big things I do have to talk about are all things I've already talked about extensively in past videos. But yeah, also, before I, before you go, before you click off, there's a huge drama that I could make a full, like, long video just talking about that. Apparently, there's some crazy-ass drama going on around the creator of a game called Yandere Simulator. And apparently, this isn't the first time his name has been popped up in a bunch of fucking drama. And if you guys want to see a full video talking about what's going on with that, please let me know down in the comments. Or please just like and share the video. If this video gets a lot of views. I'll fuck that. Let me know that you guys want to see a video on it. Or if you guys comment down below saying you want a video of me fully explaining the topic and making it in bite sized form, 
and let you guys know what's going on with that. That will also let me know that you guys want to see that video. But with that being said, guys, leave a like, subscribe, comment, share, do all that shit. Help boost the video. Your boy's trying to make it. Just don't be a dick, man. Don't be a dick. Just do it. Do all that. Go follow my other social medias linked in the description. I'll probably be streaming to Twitch sometime tomorrow morning. I'm going to be grinding up to Elite. I don't want to happen on stream, you know? So do all that. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.